This year has been an amazing year for the Bauer School of Music and the Arts. The number of art majors is growing, and we are finding new community partners, making meaningful connections with them and the community. This evening's celebration has been made possible with the support of Finemark National Bank and Trust, Thomas Riley Studio, UToby, the Smith Family Foundation of Estero, WGCU Public Media, and the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel. Thank you all for supporting us. Really appreciate it. And not only do we receive financial support, but through these partnerships, our students are doing amazing things, and we have highlight, highlighted a few of those in the lobby, so you may have seen the display in there. The internships with Thomas Riley Studio, the Rauschenberg Residency, and Studio Plus are providing hands-on experience and training in the field. And Finemark National Bank and Trust of Bonita Springs Estero currently has an exhibition up in their bank uh, through April 13th featuring FGCU graduates from last semester. And if you would like to learn more about you know, the way that we're working with the community and our students, so please introduce yourself to me and I'll be happy to tell you about how you, you, know, you can become a part of that and become a friend of the arts here at uh, the Bowers School of Music and the Arts at FGCU. So with all that said, I'd like to invite Harlan Parrish, President of Finemark National Bank and Trust of Bonita Springs, uh, Stero, up to say a few words. Harlan? Thank you, John. First and foremost, where I have uh, just a couple of remarks, I have to point out that I've got my FGCU tie on tonight, so uh, hopefully when we get through here, we'll go home and uh, hopefully a, a number 16 seed will finally be the number one seed, so we're all hoping for that, so look forward to to that game and go Eagles, but uh, Finemark National Bank and Trust is very involved in the local community. Uh, we're one of the only locally based banks, we're locally owned and locally headquartered here. Uh, we're a big supporter of the arts and, and all the community uh, in general. Our vision statement is to make a positive impact on the individuals, families, and communities that we serve. So we're very proud of our association, not only with Florida Gulf Coast University, but the community at large and certainly the arts. So, very proud to be a part of this exhibition and this event. And John, as you mentioned, we uh, do have we, we actually recognized four students uh, about a month ago, and their artwork is still up. We had a nice reception, had about 100 of our clients there, and I actually think some of the students sold some of their artwork that night. So uh, we're very, very proud of that. So uh, thank you so much, and we're, we're quite proud to be a part of this. Thank you, John. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Merlin. Um, we would now like to begin the award ceremony, and so we are going to start with the Robert Rauschenberg Residency Private Studio Tour Awards. These are going to be presented um, by Annika Sturdivant on behalf of Corel Portwright. So Annika, if you'd like to come up here and present those awards. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for being here. Um, the awards that I'm about to present, there are four awards. They are for a private studio tour of the Rauschenberg Residency. Um, there are um, a number of internships that have been made possible as a result of coming in contact, close contact with the folks at the Rauschenberg Residency. So this represents a pretty big opportunity for them to get to know the artists, the student artists, I'd like to congratulate the following people. Anna Cook. Anna, if you're here, there you go. All right, why don't you stay here? All right. Alexandrina Petrova. over at the uh, National Ceramics Education Conference, and I believe Sabrina is one of those people. Anthony Abeglin. So 
artists, these student artists will have a private tour with the studio manager over at the Rauschenberg compound in Captiva Island. You'll be able to go together and um, see things that a lot of people will pay up to $10,000 in a bidding war to have the privilege of seeing these behind the scenes. Congratulations to you all. And Annika's going to stay up here, and she's going to present the Frame It of Bonita Springs Awards of Excellence. Annika? right now probably taking advantage of that friendship that we have with this business. Um, these are cash awards. There's a check written to each recipient. Uh, they're awards of excellence. And the first um, person I'd like to announce is Sabrina Alonso. leaving Annika for the moment. Uh, there are now four Southwest Florida Fine Craft Guild Awards of Excellence being presented by Trudy Sampson, Chair of the Scholarship Committee of Southwest Florida Fine uh, Craft Guild. Trudy. I would like to thank our judges that are here from the Fine Craft Guild, um, Lee and Jay in the background, and we had two already leave. But we are an organization of 501 they give scholarships to FGCU and Cypress Lake High School. We've done it for several years. It's very, very difficult to award these prizes because there's such a variety of different media and the students do such a wonderful, wonderful job. So I congratulate everybody in the show and it was really hard to choose, but we have chosen four people. And the first one is Selena Wagner. The second one is Leela um, Mestaki. She's on crutches, though. She's on crutches. Caitlin Rosalind. The last one, we are also giving a year-long membership to our um, art guild, and this person can then do exhibits that we do. We did four last year, one at the Von Liebig, Sydney Byrne Davis, the um, Punta Gorda Visual Arts, and at the Cape Coral Art Studio. And we also, by um, joining our organization, you can put your things into the um, Coconut Point co-op gallery and you can sell things there hopefully as well as we're also part of the art console so any open shows at the art console like at the alliance or sydney Byrne davis or others you can participate in that also and we are giving this free membership to this person because who works in um, clay and we do clay wood metal stone fiber jewelry um, and all kinds of 3d just not painting so the fourth scholarship is taylor and I would encourage all of you, just like John said, 
to um, go to some of these exhibits and enter them because it just makes you better. And every judge is different. And just because you're declined in one, you could win with that same piece in another one because every judge brings a different perspective. And it's really a good experience if you want to um, extend your career in the art field. It's good to get started when you're early years and start exhibiting. And thank you very much for allowing us to participate in this. At least someone's backing me up on this, right? So get out there, enter. Okay, uh, the College of Arts and Sciences Dean's Scholarship Award will now be presented by the Dean of College of Arts and Sciences, Bob Gregerson. Thank you, John. Uh, I want to thank the uh, jazz quartet as well. I uh, really enjoyed listening to you all, so good work uh, back there. Uh, it's a real privilege for me to be here. I'm always amazed at the quality of work that I see at this annual show. It's uh, stunning to see the diversity of things that our students are doing. You got sculpture, you got ceramics, digital media, painting, drawing, and uh, it just uh, never, never ceases to amaze me uh, the work that you students are doing. It's, it's really amazing. And, I have to also take a minute to acknowledge the faculty that mentor you and have helped shape you into the artist that you've become and will help shape you as you go forward. Uh, so congratulations to everyone on the work. It's just really impressive. So I had the tough job of choosing one piece to give the Dean Scholarship Award for, and that, that was not an easy task. But I had one piece that I kept coming back to. And I, you know, I finally said, there must be a reason I keep coming back and looking at, at this piece. So that is Miss Selena Wagner's. Thank you, Bob. And now I'm bringing back. Oh, maybe I'm not. Sorry, you're not. You're on the hook yet, Annika. <laughs> Before Annika, Sanibel Captiva Rotary Club Scholarship Award will be presented by Bill Ray, past president of the Sanibel Captiva Rotary Club. Bill. We are very pleased and proud to be a part of this ceremony tonight, and we want to thank the art department here at the Florida Gulf Coast University for all the tremendous help they give us on our arts and crafts here. So we deeply appreciate that. Thank you very much, and I'm very pleased tonight present the Santa Fe Captiva Rotary Club Scholarship for Mr. James Futrol. Oh. Okay, now Annika gets to join us for the award for Artistic Endeavor, uh, the Carl Schwartz Award for Artistic Endeavor. Uh, Annika, could you please present that? All right, everybody. I think most of the students have uh, joined our halls here since Carl Schwartz retired. Um, Carl Schwartz passed away a couple of years ago. Um, this scholarship is in his honor. It is awarded to the student who uh, exemplifies a strong work ethic in the studios. It is based upon artistic merit, but it is also based upon a drive that, uh, that can be sculpted by our faculty. So it, this is based on dedication to, to living through the arts. And I'm very happy to present this award this year to Marilee Franco. that there was input from the art faculty. This is, this is given to a student who um, enhances the studio experience of everyone by being in that class. So again, Marilee, thank you for what you contribute to our community and congratulations.
I would now like to invite Chad Jensen, Director of Thomas Riley Studio, and Matt Riley, Director of Client Relations of Thomas Riley Artisans Guild Up, to present the Thomas Riley Studio Award uh, to Materials Award. Please. Thank you, Chad and Matt. It's great to be a longtime partner. I look forward to doing more things with you with our students and exhibitions. It's been really great. And finally, I'd like to invite uh, Dr. Kathy Albergo, the director of the Bauer School of Music and the Arts, up to present the uh, Bauer School of Music and the Arts Director's Award. Kathy. Welcome to everybody who's here. I have the most enviable job of anybody. Can you imagine, you know, not long ago I was listening, I was watching a play here in the theater. Tonight I get to be here for the art exhibit for my awards hearing our wonderful quartet. At 7.30 tonight, we have a senior piano recital I get to hear. And our basketball band, who the Bowers School of Music and the Arts supplies, is in, in Raleigh, North Carolina, playing for the team tonight. Go Eagles! And usually they're playing my alma mater, UNC. So, what do you do? <laughs> Anyway, my job is very enviable. I really need to acknowledge the wonderful work that John has done putting this whole thing together in Annika. The two of them have really been wonderful. I also want to say thank you to the wonderful, creative, inspirational art faculty who have inspired students, worked with them for years to produce this kind of quality of work. It is. It's extraordinary, and I congratulate them on everything that they've done. I've also got the privilege of being able to walk through and choose a piece, choose one piece, and it was very hard. I said there's four or five pieces that I really love, but one piece kept drawing me back to it in curiosity and wonderment, and hmm, what do I do with that? So my congratulations for the Bower School of Music and the Arts Director's Award to Caitlin Rosalind. <laughs> well, it's my privilege to have emceed this and to have welcomed all of you here. The night is still young. The band will continue playing. Please enjoy some additional food and drink and see the exhibition again and say hello if you have a chance to me and the rest of the faculty and students. Enjoy your evening.